my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Hello everybody, it's Super Hyper Hedgy and welcome to Uncharted 2. A rock in a hard place. We are starting off this game with a little bit of an injury, so we're right we're put right smack dab in the middle. Oh jeez. Uh so we're on a train, it's kind of broken, and uh yeah, things are not <laughs> looking the best. So we just need to quickly go up this thing. This is a like immense transition to the game. Like, wow, you're just it's like, hey, wanna start the game? Well bam! You're put in the middle. <laughs> just kinda confusing as to why we're here. It's okay. It's okay. But I like it. Just need to be safe. Oh gosh. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Uh, this would be so hard to do. Oh, this must be so painful. It's like, got a stomach injury. He's bleeding, and he's got to climb up the top of a train. Jeez. Uh, am I alive? I did not. I jumped, and I died. Wow. That was awful. I've never died there before. I just pressed X instead of holding forward. Need to hold forward. There we go. <laughs> Okay, this time, yes, there we go, oh gosh, get up please, there we go, okay, and why did that happen, oh my gosh, I don't, why is it telling me that my friend's off flying, I don't want to know, okay, oh gosh, this could be better, jeez, ah, uh, whoo, we need to get out of here. <laughs> Gotta climb this drain. Oh, and it's snowing too? It's cold. Ugh. It's cold here too. It's getting cold. It's the winter season. <laughs> so I can relate to Oh. But I can not nearly understand his amount of pain right now. I can tell. I, can I know that much. Oh. Okay. Let's get up and go. Come on, get up to the ladder. The ladder, yes. There we go. That's more like it. Oh jeez, come on. Go, 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 go. I need to go, right now. Oh no. This is not good. Hurry, go, run, run. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. Come on, go, 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 go! Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Oh jeez. Oh man. That would be so scary. Oh jeez. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out for no, a second. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. 
Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Alright, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. <laughs> but that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it <laughs> from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate, fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn Absolutely. straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about that. What could possibly go wrong? This could possibly go wrong, you know? Oh, I see something. I see a treasure. Make it over there? Can I? Can I? Yes, I can! Treasure! Yes, yeah, sweet. Also, I really like this new addition to the game. The fact that they made a treasure thing pop out like that. Uh oh. This tree is getting lowered down by a train. And. I made it! I just knew it was gonna fall. It's cinematic, you can tell some certain things are gonna happen because I've paid attention to cinema. Well, and also it's action game, so explosions are sure to fall. And fire. Oh, an oil slick. Perfect. Sweet. Okay. Just need to open this. We got a gun, so I'm making progress. Making good progress, hopefully. Alright. More ammo? Awesome. Uh, of course it's locked. It's always locked. And now it's teaching us about locks. How we have to shoot locks. How we can do that. Awesome. Okay. Let's get down. Hopefully nothing bad will happen, right? Oh gosh. It's... Oh. Wow. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> you said it. That was one hefty explosion. Jeez. Where do I want to go? Do I want to go through here? Yeah, I guess so. Ah. Yeah, I felt that too, buddy. 
I don't want to hit my arm. It's on a metal plate like that. Okay. Oh, here we go. Starting to climb up faster. Goody. And jump. Oh, good. We made it. Didn't fall. Didn't fall. Now we just need to keep going. I think up this way. Yeah. Forward path. Awesome. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's a metal anchor. Oh, good. Let's get a move on. Oh, that's not what I meant by get a move on. Oh, jeez. Oh. Ow. That would hurt. So bad for the guy. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist. We find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm-hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways and you and I just disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <clears throat> Trust me. We're back. I guess we're flashbacking a lot. Okay. Let's get up. So, two new characters, Flynn and Chloe. Hmm. Let's just keep going and get out of here. Oh, that looks like a place we need to go. Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. No problem. I feel like... Oh, I do want to go this way. Awesome. I just felt like because it ended that I didn't want to go that way at all. But I did. So, that's great. I wonder if we'll actually find out... We, we just need to get out of here because I have no idea what's going to happen next. Well, I do, actually. I just... Whoa, no! I forgot that was going to happen. So... Everything that could go bad is going bad. It's cold, or injured, and I don't know what's happening. For this, I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. You won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards, and we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax, relax, <laughs> relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. 
We're here. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it, all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. <sighs> Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. Okay. You sure you know where you're going? Don't I always? <laughs> yeah, well. Don't you love the way the water makes your jeans all squidgy? Nah, not really. Well, as soon as I feel like I get to a point where I it's can. Like the good old days, isn't it? Yeah. When were those again? Stop. <laughs> When I can stop, I'm going to end the episode when they stop talking. When I can get to a flat part to stand up. So I'm just going to keep going till, like, maybe right here. Oh, wait. This can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Well, I'm going to end it right here, so I'll see you guys next time where we continue on with Uncharted 2. Uh, Among Thieves. Forgot the title there for a second. See you next time.